he was, he was not only a composer, a teacher, he was a painter at, for some years. He was a music theorist, writing an important theory of harmony. He was, he was the teacher, as, as we said before. He was an inventor. He thought about how can this be solved when three motorways are meeting to each other and, and someone wants to get from every motorway from every direction into every other direction. How does this work? So, so this, were like, like, this was like training of his brains, which, which he took. Christian, sitting here in the library of the Arnold Schoenberg Centre, perhaps we might start just by talking about what sort of man Arnold Schoenberg was. Fortunately, we are still close enough to Arnold Schoenberg since his children still live. Of course. No. They are on, on our board. In fact, Nuria is the president of our foundation. So through them, we, we can still have a very lively impression of Arnold Schoenberg. And then we have film materials about Schoenberg. We, we see how he was... When, whenever Schoenberg comes into the picture, he's talking. So, so this gives an impression of a person. He must have always been talking, just as he always has been working. His, his, his legacy is so big that he must have constantly worked throughout his life to having been able to produce this, these materials. So Schoenberg's life was dedicated to music. Of course, he did plenty of other things. His great other passion in life was painting, but also a great inventor. We're standing here in front of a reconstruction of his own invented game, Coalition Chess, for four players. Uh, and you can see that the, each individual player has quite different pieces. The rules of this escape me completely. Uh, but it's a good example of Schoenberg's continuous invention in almost every area. Still, I think these pieces are shockingly fresh. It's sometimes I have this impression when I listen to a chamber symphony or to the piano concerto, it's still so new. It was a model for um, many writers too, wasn't it? That ideal of music. When you think about Ulysses by James Joyce, I mean, this has lots of musical aspects. Mm -hmm. And what Ulysses, what, what James Joyce does is inventing a language of his own to write this magnificent work. And that's what Schoenberg does. He invents a new musical language to be able to express his musical thoughts. And of course, this makes it so complicated to understand it. Yes. And while with Ulysses it's accepted that this is really hard to read, and you probably need a commentary to find out the beauties of Ulysses, uh, people think they can just go into the Schoenberg Piano Concerto and listen to it, and then they say, wow. <laughs> but it's, first, it's extremely beautiful music, and secondly, if people take the time to prepare at least for a few minutes, then they get a lot more out of it, just like with Ulysses. <laughs> 